Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So ever since I posted my iPhone 12 Pro Max unboxing back in like November, I've gotten a few comments asking me if I was going to do an updated what's on my iPhone. So I figured I might as well do one for the Vlogmas season since I did actually plan my phone out and plot it out to be Christmas themed. So clearly it is Vlogmas day 10 and I decided to finally do it today. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily Harless. I am a junior at Ball State University in Indiana. Video making is my passion, so if you guys wanna support me, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. You guys have no idea how much seeing my subscriber count um, just continue to grow, just inspires me to make more videos. But without further ado, let's get into the actual phone. <laughs> Like I said, I do have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's in the graphite color. All of the kind of information that you want about the phone is gonna be in that what that like unboxing video that I put up in November. That's what I was trying to say. But to start off with the outside of my phone, I just have a clear case on it that I actually got from Best Buy when I got the phone. It was like $16. It doesn't even have like a brand on here. I have no clue whatsoever what brand it is. And then I do have a pop socket on there for now. I am hopefully getting a new case for Christmas. I asked for a or cream colored case kind of from Case Defy that has my name on it down the side here. So I am hoping for that one because it's a little bit more protected than this one is. This one is very thin. My home screen right now, I have it as a Christmas tree, like a very close up kind of macro look at a Christmas tree. I think it's just a really cute little simplistic background. It's not too harsh on your eyes in the morning since it's kind of a little darker of a scheme. So moving into my actual phone. This is my home screen. Right now it is obviously themed out to Christmas. So the very top widget that I have is, all of my widgets by the way are from Widgetsmith or they're the Apple widgets. Um, the top widget is of course the calendar. I have it set, if you guys are wanting the exact same color schemes as me, it is the, I have the New York font, I use a New York font on everything, I think it's just the prettiest, obviously the tint color for the text is white, and then the background color is just actually set at dark red right now, I liked it better than the brighter red colors, so. That is that. That is where that is right now. Underneath that, I do have a widget, a picture widget of me and my boyfriend, Sam. I put a video out on the 8th where it was kind of a couple's tag getting to my boyfriend. So if you do want to know more about him, make sure you watch that if you haven't already. But yeah, that's me and my boyfriend, Sam, at a little date at a pumpkin patch that we went to back in like October. And then right next to that, to the left, I obviously have edited my apps a little bit. In my last I was 14 video, I talk about how I change the app icons without having to go through the shortcuts app first. For example, if I open like Twitter, it opens directly into my Twitter instead of going through the shortcuts app. So that's fun. Um, but if you do want to know more about that, you'll have to go check out my other what's on my iPhone video back from like late September, October, I want to say something like that. But yeah, I just have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. My most common used social media apps is on the front page in a pretty green color because typically when it's not the Christmas season, I would have a lot of white widgets in the pictures. I would probably have more like the artsy. I'll show you my inspiration for my screen in a minute so it'll make sense, but it was like, it would be like white backgrounds with like the line art. It'll make sense in a minute but it's more plant themed outside of Christmas time, but it's Christmas themed right now. Right underneath those four social media apps is a widget that just tells me when the sun rises and sets. The sun has already set by the time I'm filming this video, but obviously it's saying it's going to rise at 7.55 in the morning tomorrow. And then to the right of that, I just have Spotify, YouTube, Netflix, and Google, which are just my other four most commonly used apps. In the very bottom, I of course have messages, the phone app, FaceTime, and my email connected. Those are the only apps too that I changed just because it's a lot of effort 
to do it more, so I just changed those eight apps. On the second page, I just have a large widget according to the widget app, same sort of customizations. Um, it has a calendar, but if I have something on the calendar, then it would show up underneath it as you know an event. It did have an event earlier today because I had a dentist appointment, but like after you've done the event or after the time of the event, it tells you like you don't have anything else to do. So that's kind of nice, so I can keep track of what I'm supposed to be doing that day and where I'm going if I have appointments, things like that. Underneath that, I do have the weather widget from Apple, just because I consistently check my weather, so it makes it easier to just have it on my home screen. And then I just have kind of basic apps in here. I separate all my apps into folders because I'm, I can't deal with just a bunch of apps, like singular apps everywhere. It drives me crazy. So the settings one, I just have the App Store, iTunes, settings, Tether, which is for my um, Wi-Fi router, the Amazon app, the health app, my Verizon app, and then done is essentially just a little habit tracker thing. Um, obviously, I've not been doing good on any of them today. I haven't done any of the things. Productivity, I have just calendar notes, clock, contacts, calculator, wallet, very basic things. Um, I have a banking app and then Insight Timer, which I actually got from another YouTuber. Her name's Katherine June. Insight Timer is just a meditation app. It has just, I don't know, like a ton of like guided meditations on there and I love to meditate. I, it really helps me de-stress and centralizes me. So I think, it's, I don't know, I really like it a lot. Um, it has all sorts of stuff, like if you scroll down, like you'll get all sorts of different things. This one's like a stress less one. There's breathing practices, it's all up to you. And then up top, the very top, they have a bunch of these like categories. It's a great app, it's really, really nice. I do love to meditate, so it's a really nice app to have because I feel like I can't really editate well, editate, meditate well on my own, so having an app that'll help guide me through it and it's just set up really cleanly is really nice. Um, then I have the extras app or extras folder for myself. It is just compasses, voice memos, Safari. I have the Find My app in there. The, of course, Measure Ready app and Hot Schedules are both for work. And then there is the Shortcuts app and then the Lifestyle. I just have Maps, the Weather app, Venma Ways, Mind Body, which is for like finding yoga studios and stuff. Um, PayPal, Roku, Strava, which is a fitness tracker app when I go on runs or walks or bike rides, and then Fitbod. And then on the very, very last page in the upper left hand corner, I just have a picture of me and my roommates from this year. We are all sorority sisters. So this was us right after we had a video shoot to promote our sorority. We were just goofing around on the porch and getting cute little pictures together um, right at the beginning of the school year. To the right of that, I have photography um, that, you know, just has your camera, my photos. I do have Visco. I don't really use it anymore, so I could probably delete it. Facetune, Photo Circle is the thing that my sorority uses, um, Procreate Pockets, um, Lightroom, which is what I edit all of my Instagram photos on, and then Feeder, which helps me plan out my Instagram feeds. Next to that, obviously, I have most of these apps on my first page, but there are still a few that I don't. First, I'm actually gonna go into Pinterest. I know that's a little out of order, but I wanna show you guys the inspiration what I was talking about on my first page. Um, so this is actually the inspiration that I got when I was designing my home screen. So a lot of those widgets, like I said, that are on my first page right now will be differently formatted to a more cutesy color scheme later on. It'll be plant themed and then like those, like I said, those line drawings where it's like you start and you don't lift up and you draw stuff. I love them a lot. Um, that's my inspiration. Anyways, back to the folder. We do have Instagram, which is probably one of my most used social media apps. I, definitely the one I post on the most. Um, I obviously, here's my Instagram. I only have one point, almost 1.5K followers. I have a ton of highlights. I go on my Instagram stories all the time, so I finally sorted out my highlights. And then I can, of course, just have Facebook, Twitter. Like I said, Pinterest. Clue is actually a period tracker app. I have Facebook Messenger. Snapchat, Bitmoji, and then probably my most used app is actually TikTok. Literally, I have drafts. I've never, 
I don't post on TikTok. If you guys want my TikTok, it's literally Emily Harless 15 right there. So yeah, I don't really post anything, but I do watch a ton, comment a ton, share a ton. Hopefully I'll start posting soon. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it, exactly what I like to post on TikTok, trying to brand myself on there like I brand myself on my Instagram. And I'm going to make myself figure it out. So follow my TikTok if you also enjoy TikTok. Then I have editing. It is just, I have a ton of editing things in there. Um, some of them I don't even really use that often. I have PicMonkey, Photoshop, Mix, Unfold, Tezza, Fonto, Canva, Photoshop Express, Pixar, Dazcam, and then Widget Smith's just on the next page. And then I just have TV and music, so I do have Apple Music. But I have YouTube, Netflix, Spotify, I have ESPN in there, Live Nation for concerts, CBS Sports, Disney Plus, CBS, and my Hulu apps. And then underneath that, I have the Moon Widgets from Widget Smith. Um, it just shows you what the moon shape is. So, like, obviously, right now it's a crescent the days that it's like that, how much of the moon is illuminated, when it rises and sets. And then underneath that, I have the education folder. I just have my Canvas app in there, Google Drive, GroupMe, Outlook, my FAFSA app, Be Connected, which is for my school. It has my schedule in here. So there's my fall schedule. And then since we did schedule spring, I have my spring schedule in there as well. Obviously a lot of my classes right now are online because of COVID. Then the Rider app, which is for the buses at my school to track them. Google Docs, Duo Mobile, <sighs> Google Sheets, Box. Um, I have a police scanner app for just for the fact that I'm a TCOM major. I like to hear sometimes if things are going on. So sometimes I'll just turn it on in the background and try to listen and see if anything interesting that we would want to report on is happening. Um, Zoom, Translate, Slide, Google Slides, and my Gmail. Then I have my rewards app. I just have Starbucks, I have, you know, it's all the ones that I've signed up for rewards through. So Starbucks, Pink, Ulta, Sephora, Giftster is for tracking your family's presence. I have my list. I split it between my mom's side and my dad's side this year for Christmas. So I have my lists on there. I do talk about what I asked for for Christmas in another video, which I will have linked up above me. Uber Eats is also in this folder, Grubhubs. Payless and Target, and then Meyer and Poshmark, which I need to go on Poshmark more. I need to post stuff on there more often. And then in my games folder, I have Pokemon Go. Love that app, especially during the summer when I walk around a lot. Pokegenie, which actually tells me like the strength and like the best like parts of my um, Pokemon that I catch in the Pokemon Go app. Um, not gonna lie, Choices is very much a guilty pleasure app of mine. Um, I do play it a frequent amount. Um, I have Redecor, which is essentially like a little interior design. It's just fun. And then House Party, which I feel like I don't even go on anymore. BitLife, also a little guilty pleasure app of mine. Randonautica, which I don't really even know how it works. I have to look up more stuff about it. Um, Euchre because I'm from Indiana. That's literally an explanation in itself. Um, Musician, which is what I'm teaching myself to play guitar through. I have Piccolo and Among Us on my second page in there. And then my last little widget is me and my best friend, Allie. She's also my G-Big. So that was a picture from when she came and visited back in, I want to say September. Um, she visited me back here in Muncie. She's in Indy right now. That's it, pretty much. I am on my phone pretty frequently, like I said, especially in those first four apps. There's that. There's my what's on my iPhone. There's what I use the most. Um, probably going to be reorganizing, downloading some things as I continue to go on and just really play with the phone more and things like that. And if I do make major changes, then maybe I'll film another one. If you guys would like to see another updated What's On My iPhone sometime later on in 2021. But as of right now, that was the end of today's video. If you guys did like it, please make sure to press the like button down below and you can comment literally anything. I respond to every single comment just because liking and commenting really helps my channel grow a lot and it is greatly appreciated. Like I did mention in my intro, if you guys really wanted to just, you know, 
see what I'm like, get to know me, follow me through Vlogmas because this is my first year doing Vlogmas, you can subscribe and also hit the bell down below to just follow me through that journey. Once again, would be greatly appreciated. Earning subscribers, big, huge thing for me. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it for today. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new vlog.